Can I throw the potato? For sure. <laughs> Hi, my name is Austin Granger, and today we're making salt crusted baked potatoes. We're using uh, rusted potatoes today for all these recipes. You can also go with a Yukon Gold or a red potato. Uh, differences, thinner skin, different starch content. Um, Russet's the classic for this recipe. First thing you're going to do is take a potato, scrub it. Uh, after that, you're going to dry it off really well. Uh, it just gives you a, a crispier skin because the oil's like penetrating and then you don't get any steam from the water. And after that, you're going to want to go into poking it with your fork all over so it doesn't explode. Because that does happen, it'll explode. Potato! <laughs> Stab you're just murdering your potato. Then after this, we're gonna coat them in some oil, rub them in some salt, and get them on the grill. Let me grab our bowl here. We're gonna mix these potatoes in some oil. You wanna get a, you wanna get them nice and coated, so don't be afraid to use lots of olive oil, which will help make them crispy in the end. And then once you get the potatoes all nice, evenly coated, we're gonna add our salt. Add some salt to our bowl here. And just one at a time, just really completely coat them in salt. Hence the name, salt crusted baked potatoes. And you just do all of them, coat them nice and easy. You could also use any Traeger rub, your favorite rub, salt, avocado oil for the fat. You could use butter, canola oil, any, any type of oil you want to use. Nice, even coat up there. And uh, other things you can use besides salt would be kind of like whatever your toppings are going to be at the end. You really want to pair your spice to it. You could use, you know, if you were doing a potato with taco toppings like we're going to do later, you could use chili powder, it's cumin, and add that. And then you're going to have a delicious tasting crust that goes with all your toppings. All right, now we got these all salted up. We're going to take these and we're going to throw them on the grill. Once your grill's preheated 450 degrees, take your potatoes, put them directly on the bottom rack, and we're gonna let these cook for just about 35 to 45 minutes or until the center is soft and fluffy. And we'll come back and check on these when they're done. It's been about 40 minutes. We're gonna check on our potatoes. Uh, they should be done now. Uh, another way if you wanna check them is you can temp them to about 195, 200, if you wanna do it that way. Let's check them out. And they're looking done. So we're gonna pull them off, we're gonna go top. That's right, so our potatoes are off the grill, nice and hot. And crispy. All right, so we got our potatoes off the grill, nice and hot, and crispy, salt crusted. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to chop our bacon up. And this is the best part about a baked potato. It's not really the potato itself, it's all the toppings you can put on it. And there's endless possibilities, and I'll show you those all at the end. Uh, on this one, we're just going to do the classic. We're just going to take a potato, do a nice slit, not all the way down the side. That way you can like fluff it up in there. Take your hands. Kind of fluff all the potato up there. Gives you a larger vessel for more toppings. From there, we are going to take our cheese. Add some butter. Add some sour cream. As much bacon, as much chives, cheese. You can also use other herbs on this too. Use some parsley like we got over here. We're just going to chop some chives up here. Adds a lot of good color to it, because also potatoes don't look very pleasing at all. They're just kind of brown. <laughs> and so we're just going to finish our potato off with a little black pepper. And this is your classic topped salt crusted baked potato. Besides just this classic top one, there's endless possibilities. I made some other ones over here. Bring these up front here. Have fun when you make baked potatoes, because they're not fun themselves. It's just a potato. We have a classic thick potato we just did. Next up, we have a Philly cheesesteak one. It's got thinly sliced ribeye, bell peppers, onions, some cheese sauce, 
It's actually a buffalo chicken one. It has blue cheese crumbles, some ranch dressing, some more buffalo sauce drizzled over the top. Next to that one, we have a classic barbecue one, which has barbecued pulled pork, coleslaw, some chives on top. Um, that one has a nice barbecue drizzle over it. To the left of that one, we have our loaded nacho baked potato, which has sour cream. It has some taco beef on it. It has Takis, which is a Mexican snack. It has pickled jalapenos, and you can go crazy down. You got like guacamole, beans, whatever you want. And the one to the left of that is a Korean barbecue one, which has crusted up ramen noodles, bulgogi. It has a sesame dressing on it. it has sesame seeds, some crushed up nori. So you can really go. Let your imagination go wild. With this there's endless toppings and millions of combinations. For this and any other recipes, go to traeger.com slash recipes or download the app and go crazy. Cook them. Have fun. Remember, it's a <laughs> <day>. <laughs>